GC Rad One here from the Yamaha T Dub Club, going to talk to you about the tools that I carry on my T W Two Hundred. As I mentioned that in the previous video, uh, showing all the stuff that I pack on my T W Two Hundred and all the stuff that I uh, have added to the bike, all the aftermarket accessories. But anyhow, you guys have seen this a few times. This is my. Uh, main tool pack and it has gone from the front rack to the rear rack rear rack to the front rack it goes back and forth but what you haven't seen is this little guy right here it's a little motion pro tool pack and basically when i bought this bike the tool kit was missing from the bike and so i have that little space down there so what i did is i purchased this little uh um motion pro get up right here i have a spare fuse in here and uh, it has just a few different items in it. And let's It's the Motion Pro Metric Multi-Purpose Tool, part number 080161. And basically, I have a couple of spare uh, 10 millimeter bolts in here. And it has a 14 millimeter um, socket and it looks like it has an 8 millimeter socket, 10, 12, 10. It's got a couple of different mounting applications. Uh, it has a, you know, a nut driver. And it has the almighty 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter. So basically you can, this is actually a good little test. I've never uh, actually set this bad boy up. I've never actually used it but it's like one of those good things. It's a good thing to have because the day you don't have it is when you're gonna need it. And the fact that I have it all the time, there you go, you just put that guy in there you can switch out the bits and go uh, 10, 12. Pretty nifty little setup. And it has a Phillips, a straight, and it has Allen keys as well. So you have your different different Allens there. That's the, the little uh, Motion Pro metric tool, multi-purpose tool, and it actually fits inside my um, tool space uh, where the factory tools were. All right, let's get into the to the bad boy right here. This is uh, an old school Acherby's um, tool belt, tool roll that you would wear around your waist. And uh, I cut the ear, the belt off and I just kind of made it a tool bag because I was basically carrying it on my bike at all times. But we'll get into the contents of this bag. Uh, when, and this is packed how it was from when I had it on the front and did my three-day trip in, to Anza Borrego. So immediately right there I had some zip ties uh, uh, available. And I had a piece of uh, safety wire. I think I picked that up somewhere. Um, I don't know where I picked it up somewhere. It's just a little shrapnel piece. Uh, all right, we'll just kind of go through this bad boy uh, compartment by compartment. And uh, I have a, a spark plug holder that's empty. Uh, I actually need to put a spark plug in there from when I change my spark plug again. I love this tape. This is the uh, the Gorilla Tape. Uh, you never know what you need that for. I have uh, a flattened roll of black duct tape. I have this little slime uh, digital tire gauge. Uh, that how I check the tires. Um, I have some uh, quick steel. We've actually uh, used this once before. Not this actual piece, but uh, I used it from another bike uh, when we repaired a, a, a broken clutch lever. Uh, my insurance and registration. And I have this little guy right here. This is a Moose Racing. This is a toe strap. Uh, so if you break down out there, it's a nice long toe strap. I've had this for several years. Um, I've never used it. And that's why, because I have it. The day I don't have it, that's when I'll need it. Uh, but 
me and my buddy Schultz, we were riding out in the desert quite a bit, and uh, we're riding these old XRs, and you know, things happen. So I had that. You never know when you will need it, but I hope to never have to need it because I have it. All right, so next layer down. This thing is a kind of a, a two-layer deal. And uh, I have a, let's see, what size is this bad boy? It doesn't really, oh, a 22 millimeter. And that fits my uh, rear axle nut, and it is a tire spoon. I have a set of these uh, Nipix pliers. These things are super awesome. I have a little crescent wrench in here. And then down here I have my other tools, which is not a whole lot of stuff, but I have a razor blade in case I uh, ever need to, you know, do some fine cutting if I needed to cut like an inner tube piece or whatever. Never know. I have uh, a pair of pliers like this. It's just a, a cheap not Leatherman brand, but this is just a cheap set of uh, pliers and whatnot. So, 8 and 10 millimeter wrench, 8 and 10 millimeter wrench, 10 and 12 millimeter wrench. I have an OG, super OG, 13 and 17 Yamaha wrench. And this was probably from my old Yamaha DT175 when I was growing up. I've had this forever. Um, I have a pair of wire cutters and I have a 1417 and I have this really lightweight uh, screwdriver uh, an old co-worker uh, gave this to me back from one of his Japan trips I just always liked how crazy lightweight it is it has a uh, changeable bits it has you know Phillips and straight so it has uh, two fillip sizes and two st straight blade sizes. And uh, there you have it. That is essentially the contents of my tool roll, courtesy of the squeaky cricket over here. Hey man, I can't control nature. It just is what it is. And, uh, you know, I'm sure if I holler, he'll shut up. But in the meantime, he's trying to hold the cord over me. But that's part of nature, right? And uh, I'm out here in my garage. I don't have the super indoor studio. I'm making making do with what I got. So comment down below and tell me what I need to add to my TW200. Aside from a tube, I do have a front spare tube that'll work in both front and rear. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I've had a flat front tire, I've had a flat rear tire, and I've never changed out on the trail. So one of these days I'm gonna have to learn to do that. I know it's gonna be a chore. Um, but I do have, usually in my uh, camel pack, I have a bicycle uh, air pump. So that's always in there. Uh, and then I do, I would like to add a two other tire irons because I don't think that one is going to get it matter of fact I know it's not because I usually work with three tire irons at the shop I have an old school set of tire irons that belong to my father but I quit carrying them because I didn't want to lose them and this bag as you can see is it's kind of like started coming apart maybe I uh cut a little too close I've overpacked it I don't know but this bad boy I've had this thing for such a long time it's time to uh, do something different and so let me know how you carry your tools what tool roll what mechanism you're using to to carry your tools and just do your little checklist and post it and maybe we can all compare notes and maybe we can come up with a master one and yeah, make sure you tell me what I am missing. Um, I've done trailside repairs, but usually uh, 
I try not to. That's why I do so much preventative maintenance on my motos beforehand. Check it out. But I've ridden a lot of different motorcycles, so this, this little kit has just kind of been what has gone with me on all my moto trips. All right, and that's really about it. There's no sense of dilly-dallying anymore about it. So just please comment below. Tell me what I'm missing. All right, thank you. Have a great day.